TK, TK, wake up. I'm Annie Mock, and I'm here recording with you playing Donkey Kong Country on the GBA. What'd you do that for? I was having a nice nap. Take a look inside your banana cave. You're in for a surprise. My bananas and my buddy Diddy, they're all gone. The Krillins will pay. I'll have to hunt them down through every corner of an island until I get every last banana back from my horde. Back, back, back. So, this was all the story there was back in the original Donkey Kong Country, Country, if you remember, was it just kind of brilliantly spit you out into that world. Here it adds this kind of a uh, little bit of awkward uh, stuff. Oh, and an extra one up. Um, this is the slightly uglier, as you may realize, uh, GBA version. And, um, it's, uh, it's chugging along here on this emulator on this computer. <laughs> um, but yeah, but, uh, very soon we'll be getting a new rig and, um, that'll make it a lot easier to, um, to record, uh, Let's Plays, more sophisticated Let's Plays. Oh yeah, we got Rambi the Rhino. Hell yeah, secrets, secret girls, um, oh, what's this camera bullshit? Mmm, hell yeah, hell yeah, weird lizard in the background, I mean, I gotta say for the GBA, this is really technically impressive, and it was a technically impressive system. Uh, at the time, I remember seeing, um, you know, in the in the middle school cafeteria, some kid with a GBA and who had, uh, oh, some kid with a GBA who had, uh, let's not do the same thing three times at once, please, um, who had Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, um, which was, uh, you know, an isometric 3D game, which went on a portable system, which at the time was basically unheard of. Um, oh. You know, people love these games. I think they're kind of a mess. I've always thought the controls were a little slippery, and that hit detection perhaps was... Uh, left something to be desired um, compared to Mario but um, I would love to play the new games I would love to play the um, the uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns and Donkey Kong Country Soft Tropical Freeze but um, like probably everybody else I sold my Wii U um, not to get the Switch because I waited quite a while to get the Switch until um, after I got the Wii U. Oh, listen to that. Music by David Wise. That is so good. And here we are starting at the midway point. But we got that music coming up. We got the Diddy Kong barrel. We got everything going on. And that's alright. So that's kind of the point of these Let's Plays is just to have a Oh, a good time. <laughs> um, and uh, I know I keep repeating myself, but uh, boy, it would really help to do a video game show if I were good at video games, especially. But, uh, I mean, really, honestly, if you play these games... They really are a little, a little sloppy, a little slippery, a little icy, a little watery. Um, so, you know, they are what they are. There is a pleasant rhythm to them, I must say. 
The level designs are uh, pretty decent. Ooh, look at that armadillo. Cranky's cabin. You seem to be doing quite well. If I if I had been playing, I would have got here much quicker. One thing before you leave. To save your progress, simply press start on any world map to bring up the menu, then just hit the select the save icon. Cranky got German there. I don't really know what's going on. Reptile Rumble, here we go. We are halfway through this Let's Play journey. If I am sticking with the 10 minute episode, like I broke for my last episode. Whoa, K, okay. and I missed the K out of Kong. Find the exit. That was not a challenge. That was a straight line that gave me 42 seconds to find the exit. Why did you do that? That makes no sense. Um. Ooh, bonus barrel! This was also not a challenge. Why did you do that, game designers? Um, I have to say, I think the Super Nintendo version really wins out in a lot of ways. Uh, remake or rebreak or not. But, uh, you know, again, for the time, for a portable system, um, really quite, quite amazing. Quite something. Oh, here we go. I got the halfway point at least. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. And DK Duckin. I gotta say, these animations, uh, I shit on this game a lot because it's fun, and why not? Um, and, you know, it's like 20 years old, and I'm old, and you're old, and these bats are nicely animated. Um, but yeah, the game had a lot of care put into it, I guess. Um, yeah, the, uh, water levels obviously are kind of, you know, who likes water levels? Basically almost no one. But, uh, water level music is always just a delight. Um, I mean, check out those backgrounds. Oh, now you're rolling with On Guard the Fish. Oh, except not. kind of a beautiful composition. David Wise is quite the composer, um, I have to say. So let's see, where do I go? Gets a little bit confusing here where you're going, what the background is supposed to be around here. Um, What fish are dangerous? What fish are okay? Why you lose and get this strange creature? Um, what is what is life? Who are we in this strange universe? Um, Donkey Kong Country 2, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, Kong. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me, um, and uh, take care, and have a great night, and I will see you soon. Okay, peace.